Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and in today's video we'll be reviewing everything covered in this week's Armor of Forger dev blog, dev blog number 13. This dev blog covered the release of the experimental build as well as some things that they are working on for the future. So with no more delay, let's just get right into this. <laughs> Starting off, they talked about the release of the experimental build. This is something I already covered in a separate video, but since that video, there has been a small hotfix to the build. This has cleaned up some bugs and made the build more playable, and it shows that it is far easier for them to quickly update this new build rather than the main one, which is a fact they stated themselves in this dev block. They then addressed that there is one experimental server with 64 players. This is to do more testing with larger servers and try and optimize it for 0.9.6. They added that they will be doing more playtests in the server in the future and would appreciate players joining in and whenever they host these events they're going to be announcing them on social media. They covered more things from the experimental build before pointing out something to do with a lighting change, showing the following comparison as their example. I may be blind, but to me I don't really see a huge difference between these two images and I don't really understand why they pointed this out in the dev block. If you guys do see the massive difference, let me know, but all I really see is some minor light changes. To close out, they uh, address some features that may give an unfair advantage and what they're doing to address that. Wearing an enemy uniform is something they're apparently strongly opposed to. They intend on making it take a while to switch into an enemy's uniform. Um, they intend on adding insignias that let a player tell an enemy apart from an ally. And finally, they're going to be adding a server option that will disable players from switching uniforms entirely if the server owner so desires this feature. They uh, follow this up with a similar issue with enemy radios to try and mitigate enemies using your radios they're going to be adding a caller id system that will show who exactly is using the radio with an unknown station appearing if the enemy is using your radio now they understand this will anger some people but they just don't really like this feature and they stated that they aren't disabling the radios entirely but they want to mitigate it. Um, so they are debating on adding the option of a code that periodically changes, meaning you would have to find the enemy code in order to use their radio. And when you find it, it would eventually change and lock you out. They also considering adding a server option that lets server owners, much like uniform switching, completely disable the use of enemy radios. Um, I don't personally think it's that important to change. I think infiltrating the enemy team is entertaining and just fun, but that's just my opinion. They closed out with the comrade and a statement where they addressed the possibilities of viruses and you know bad content in the workshop. They say they're working hard to prevent this and they're going through a bunch of preventatives and future systems that will work on dealing with this. But for the short term, they advise players not to download any mod that has a very low rating, you know zero percent and, and around that range. Just don't download the mod. It might be a virus and you don't want to tank your PC. But that's all I've got for this week. This has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all next time. Ciao.